going green. Green pioneers in association with Kirloska, enriching lives. This week on World One, we are turning the spotlight on green pioneers, men and women with big ideas to change the world. Today, Yusuf Abramowitz, uh, his target is to bring solar power to Israel on a commercial scale. He showed CNN the first fruits of his work, and as Elise Labatt reports, the future could be even brighter. A social activist from Boston turned green pioneer, Yosef Abramowitz's vision is to harness the sun's energy. These deserts are a, a source of inspiration throughout history, and uh, it's what has inspired, I think, our really mission to, to bring solar power to Israel and to the world. The sun's journey over this valley follows the path the Bible says the Jewish people wandered in exile. Today, it glistens with more than 16,000 solar panels, generating 9 million megawatt hours of solar energy per year. This land was made for solar power. There's one or two other places on the planet that's better, like the Sahara, but the difference is Sahara doesn't have a national grid running right through it. And so this may actually be, for, for practical purposes, the best place on the planet to produce commercial-scale solar power, because you can, you can gather it and you can use it immediately. After battling Israeli bureaucracy for five years, it took Abramowitz just five months to build the first commercial solar field in the Middle East. The unlikely home to the $150 million project? A kibbutz, where Abramowitz landed 30 years ago as a young volunteer. Even then, Kibbutz Keturah was known for its environmental innovation. Really? He returned on a family visit several years ago. Feeling the sun's unrelenting power again after so many years, Yosef had an inspiration. Why not harness that power and sell it? He teamed up with Kibbutz businessman Ed Hofflin and U.S.-based investor David Rosenblatt and the Arava Power Company was born. The original idea of those who founded the kibbutz lifestyle was to live off the land. And the creative seeds being planted here at Kibbutz Keturah are flourishing in a capitalist market. Yet these entrepreneurs are still committed to living the socialist principles of communal life. Keturah leases the land to Arava in return for a share in the company. The kibbutz members work on the field, including a Ravid Chairman Hoffman, no personal profit. Live on the kibbutz, and that's the basic principle, that the kibbutz will take care of your needs, your family's needs. And then it's obviously uh, to do, the thing to do is to give your salary to the kibbutz. These solar pioneers have already picked out the site for their next project a solar field seven times the size of the Keturah plant straddling Israel's border with Jordan. Arava is expected to grow into a two billion dollar enterprise with 50 solar fields in Israel on lands leased from other kibbutz, farmers and even Bedouin tribes. And there are plans to develop breakthrough technology that will make solar power more efficient and less expensive. And what about this, these panels over here? Are these new types of panels? These are new types of panels that get a little bit more uh, efficiency. If you can get another 10, 20, 30 percent more efficiency for the same price. Around the kibbutz, they call Yusuf Captain Sunshine. Other entrepreneurs come from around the world to see what's happening here. Yusuf says he's on a mission to make money with solar energy while helping others save the planet. If we can do it, anybody can do it and and how do we become a catalyst to work with other countries especially poor countries one simple idea one lone pioneer capturing the sun's promise casting a shadow over the future that could only be brighter Elise Labitt CNN Keturah Israel you're watching World One live from London. 